This is N2 L E N with another quick video clip. It is Monday morning. It's in the wee hours of Monday morning, actually. And it is one uh, thirty-four a.m. And it is January 13th. And this uh, video actually is going to be um, a video talking about just basically, it's going to be an un unboxing video. Uh, there are tons of videos online about this uh, icon peripheral. I purchased this uh, Icom RC28 about a year ago. I haven't even pulled it out of the box. The way that you're seeing it is the way that I got it delivered. And I purchased it from um, eBay. Um, and I ordered it from a, a dealership in Japan. And I saved about 100 and change as opposed to buying it in America. Um, let me unbox it and I'll show you exactly what it looks like when you open it. Okay. Let's see if I could do this with the, um, my hand holding the iPhone so you could see it. Okay. Here is the, I guess it's the licensing. data manufacturer it's like uh, October 12th 2018 so it's a couple of years old okay okay here is instruction sheet looks like it's in English okay an instruction sheet in Japan Japanese from Japan and then here is the unit I'll go ahead and I'll pull it out so you can see it USB cable and here is the oh, this is all in with uh, yeah it's wedged in there it's okay hold on a second let's see if I can do it this way so you can actually see it come out. <laughs> it's definitely hard to do with. Let's see if I can grab the plastic and wiggle it out. There we go. Actually grabbing it by the encoder knob. <laughs> there we go. Sorry this is taking so long, but with one hand, I should get a mount for the uh, okay here is the unit Okay. Patience, patience, patience. There you go. Okay. Well, I could tell you that it's a it's a metal case, and it's um, pretty pretty heavy. This looks like the exact same VFO knob that's on the seven hundred six. <laughs> let me let me see that. Well, no, it's actually not. It, it, it looks like this. It's the knob is bigger. It looks more like the knob on maybe on the. Uh, no, it's not that either. But on the seven, maybe the seventy one hundred. But it's uh, nice and smooth. Let me go ahead and put it down here and I'll let you got everything falling on the floor here. So put it right here. And uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that feels nice. Yep. 
There you go. The bottom is an entire pad, and it looks like it may be like Velcro. It might just, uh, you know, you could attach it to Velcro. And uh, that's basically it. So... There is a... I guess that's micro USB right there. And the cable is micro USB on one end to USB. And we're going to make another video of us uh, setting it up. So anyway, um, that's basically it. The, now, according to this... Uh, that, that's probably the same as the sheet that's right there. It just basically says, um, make sure Windows has completed its startup. Connect the RC28 to the PC that the, B, the RSBA1 version 1.3 or later is installed. Uh, do not connect uh, the RC28 to the PC with other than supplied USB cable. Or through any USB hub. Okay, so this cable looks like a standard USB cable that has an RF choke on it. The RS, uh, the RC28 cannot be used with the RSBA1 1.20 or later. Please download the latest version. Uh, when you connect a PC, wait till the device driver is, in, is installed. Uh, start up the control software, the light will go green on it, and then you could assign functions. So it looks like it's plug and play, basically. Once we plug it in, I guess the we'll start up the software and we'll see it. And we'll have another uh, video of the actual installation. So with that said, that was the unboxing of the uh, ICOM RC28 remote controller. This is N2 LEN. We're saying best 73s. Take care. Have a good night, guys. Okay, yeah, this is N2 LEN with another follow up video clip. Uh, we, we just quickly turned on the, the 7850 limited edition. We um, have the RC28 hooked up to the PC with its own USB cable. Uh, the right side cable, once we plugged it in, we heard the Windows chime that it recognized that I was connecting something. Uh, there was no pop-up of installing any software drivers. I didn't see anything. I just let it sit for about a minute and then I plugged in the USB cable that's connected directly to the 7850 limited edition. Started up the software. Here you go. And uh, let me show you. And when it when I started it up, the link light uh, came on. And I guess if I depress this, it'll just go into transmit. So. Let me not do that on, on lower side. Let me move this. Let's go over to AM. And let's uh, bring this to 3885. So let me uh, move this. There we go. There we go. So that's 3885. Let me press the depress the space bar. Let me see what I have the radio set at. Power output is uh, pretty low, about 15 watts. You press the space bar. Yeah, that it, the, the TX light is lit, red. The radio is in transmit. Take a look at the LP100. 18 watts with a 1.25 SWR. Let me unkey it. Show the radio. Key, on key. Key, on key. There you go. Okay, let's see about the fluid fluidity of the way that it it uh, turns. 
Wow. Yeah, let me get on. Let me get on lower side. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Let me let me zoom in on this. The knob, the flu, the fluidity of the knob equals that of the software VFO. Very smooth. Wow, it's very smooth. Yep, there you go. Okay, so that's basically it. It's just a basic hookup, hooked up flawlessly. Uh, two USB cables, and uh, and then we're ready to go. I guess we could assign everything, but this was all. This was was initial hookup to show you how it works. So with that said, you know something. It feels nice. It's you know it's a pretty. Solid piece. Let me get on top of it so you can see it. There you go. Very, very solid uh, piece. If it's heavy, just turn the VFO. Hold on one second. Okay. Uh, very... You know, it's heavy. It, it probably has a weight in the counterweight in it, but a great piece. We'll give you some more video clips as we start fooling around with it and playing with it. And with that said, this is N2LEN saying, Best 7 3 guys, have a great, great week. Catch you all later with the. RC28 remote encoder from ICOM and the RSBA1 remote control software, the unboxing, the initial setup, driving the ICOM 7850 limited edition. Catch you later, guys. This is N2LEN saying best 7-3. This is N2LEN with a continued video clip of the ICOM RC28. Now it, we have it connected to the uh, ICOM 7800. Uh, the only difference is, is that on the 7800, I have it hooked up. The connectivity is hooked up through a DB9 COM port. The... Um, RC28 is hooked up still via USB. When you turn on, because of the incompatibility issue of certain features, let me, let me, and let me show you what those are. So basically, when we look at this list, and we look at the 7850 and the 7851, and I'm assuming the, uh, the new 7760 and the 7610, all of the features are addressed, but with the 7800 and the 7700, there is no dual watch function and no spectrum waterfall scope. Now, when you start the software, you could see that the scope is not highlighted. The fluidity of the knob, I'm going to turn it. I'll show it to you on the radio. It's just as smooth as the um, yeah. No, I I don't see any difference in the feel compared to the seventy eight fifty limited edition. Uh, this is a very late model. Uh, 7800. Uh, the, uh, the next test will be on the 7700.
But the green light is on showing the link. Uh, I guess if I press the transmit light, I I don't want to do it here. But let, let me let me go ahead and shift this over. Let me let me move this down. Let me put this on AM. I bring this down to 3885. Okay, the frequency is not in use. I have the power, RF power on the radio. Make sure I got this turned down. I got it pretty low. Let's go ahead and just see if it keys up. Yep. Red lights on. Let's see it right here. Power output. Five watts. Yeah, so that's working flawlessly. I mean, for, you know, for basic functionality with the seventy-eight hundred. Uh, there you go. This is N two L E N saying best seven threes. Catch you later. This is N2LEN with a continued video clip. We now quickly hooked up the 7700. Now, the 7700 is hooked up DB9, but I ran out of DB9 cables. So I'm using... Uh, i got to show you what I'm using on this one. I didn't have... I have so many DB9 cables. This is a DB9 cable coming out of the back of the the serial port of the 7700, and that feeds into a DB9 to DB25 uh, adapter. That feeds a DB25 cable. And then I have it converted back over here, down to DB9. So it's converted twice. But anyway, I have that hooked up. Configured the COM port, turned it right on, clicked on. And the, the light's on. We'll go ahead and tune it. Let me see if I could swing it out of here. There you go. Yeah, that's working beautifully. I love the 7700. Uh, key up. I'm not going to key up on them. Let me, let me move, uh, move, put this on AM. Let's move this to 3885. There we go. Let's see where I got the power output. I got the power output actually up here. Let me let me bring that down. Okay, let's go ahead and key it up. Yeah, that's keying up. Six watts. 1.27. Here's unkey. Key. Unkey. working flawlessly and that's the uh 7700 so and once again on the 7700 just like the 7800 you don't any you don't have any waterfall feature or any uh spectrum scope uh but it works flawlessly this is n2 len saying that's seven three catch you later guys they all work good.